right out of Dixon, where some parents are now wondering why there wasn't better communication from the Dixon School District after a student brought a gun onto a middle school campus. That student was taken into custody. Nobody was hurt, but it's case area three's Leanne Denyer tells us tonight. Some say that this is the moment to fix communication with parents. Teresa Zamanik's son is a sixth grader at John Knight Middle School in Dixon. If I receive a phone call from the school district or John Knight School, I'm going to answer my phone. And I was very upset that I didn't have the opportunity to come and get my son. Dixon Unified says the middle school went into lockdown at 11 a.m. Monday due to a report of a weapon on campus. Zamanik says she didn't know about the lockdown or what had prompted it until hours later after she received a screenshot of a post from the Dixon PD. He got in the car and he was as soon as he opened the door, he was crying and he said, Mom, he's like, I don't know if I want to go to my school anymore. He's like, I'm scared. The Dixon Police Department is investigating after they say a 13 year old male student had a pistol with magazines inside his backpack with him at school. He was placed under arrest and booked into the juvenile hall in Swano County. In addition to being worried about the incident itself, Zamanik says she's concerned about the communication from the district. She says she never got an email Monday and that Tuesdays with resources available for students can came after school was out for the day. It's not something you're expecting to happen in junior high. And my kids only in sixth. She says she's glad the situation did not escalate, but it needs to be used as a catalyst for improved communication between the district and its families. Because an email doesn't cut it and an email that only made it to probably, you know, half if less of the parents doesn't work. In Dixon, Leanne Denyer, KCRA 3 News. Uh, Dixon PD says that they are still investigating how the student got the gun to begin with and that investigators are now working with the district. The DA's office will determine next steps.